Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we would be understanding about the flows. So uh, in this video we would be uh, highlighting over the main details that what is a flow and how we can create some flows as well as we would be uh, working on some uh, real life topics that uh, can be solved through flows or we would do a quick um, introduction or a quick uh, uh, preview of uh, your Salesforce flows okay so basically what is a flow in Salesforce so flow is just an application that uh, automates your complex business processes so basically it is there for automation that we understood that is what is the basic idea of flow so it collects the data and do some operation on that data okay and flow builder is the declarative interface used to build individual flows okay flow builder can be used to build code like logic without using a programming language so those who are who are willing to go into the salesforce admin part so it is for them like uh, because without using any pro uh, programming logic uh, you can uh, easily create a flow so we understood that a flow is an op uh, application that is used to create a complex or that is used to automate your complex business process okay and flow builder is an interface that is used uh, to build your uh, flows okay so uh, what happens is there are uh, basically five kinds of flows uh, flow categories so uh, we would also see on, uh, in the example so first is your screen flow so what does your screen flow does is there are uh, flows that require your ui element uh, or a user input uh, from the end user so for that uh, kind of thing uh, the we make use of a screen flows okay scheduled triggered flows so uh, these are auto launched flows uh, that are launched at a specified time and frequency for each record in a batch so basically since they are auto launched flows uh, so don't worry about them uh, so understand that auto launched flows are the flows that can run in the background okay they do not need a specific uh, uh, ui interference so that's the benefit of auto launch flow uh, so auto launched flow is the third type uh, run automated tasks with this flow type okay and uh, the main advantage of auto launched flow is that we can um, use them or integrate them with process builders apex classes uh, and many more things and you would learn when you would do hands on over these things for now you just need to know these five things that what are these so other the next thing is your record triggered flows so uh, these are auto launched flows they are run in background and useful when uh, we want to create a record update it or delete it so record triggered flows as the name suggests similar cases with your platform event triggered flows so when an event uh, is message is received these flows they are obviously auto launched so they run in the background they serve a particular task as well as uh, there are various other things related to that okay so just we understood the five types of flows okay now moving further is as i told you na, i would tell you about the five types of flows so see when you launch a new flow don't worry we would be uh, launching it in a couple of minutes so uh, you get these kind of options that what do you want you want a screen flow record triggered flow platform flow schedule triggered flow and auto launch flow so these are five types of flows that we discussed in here okay so first uh, what i would do is i would show you where and from how we can access these flows okay uh, so guys um, when you log in into your org you would see this kind of thing and from in here you have to click this and go to the setup menu so when you launch the setup uh, it's uh, like this so uh, from here you are to select flows okay so in the process automation these are flows so in this you would see some flows and uh, from here you do your new flow so whenever you do your new flow uh, see the five things that we told uh, populates over here 
so uh, basically we are uh, dealing with the screen flow in today's video so we would be doing next so in next it tells you the layout that which layout do you want do you want a free from lay a form layout or a auto layout so in a free form what is the difference between the two is uh, you have to uh, control the e uh, placement of elements that what would come after this so basically you have to connect the lines whereas in auto launched flow uh, everything uh, connections are uh, made automatically so we would be going with free from though I like auto launched also but yeah for the beginners uh, free from is a better approach so whenever you uh, would uh, launch this you would see a screen flow uh, this would be present automatically okay so uh, these are your elements so uh, basically your salesforce flow deals with three things interaction logic and data so interaction in interaction there are screens actions and subflows logical uh, this is assignment this is decision like your if condition this is your loop as we do in for loops this is your collection sort and for data we have uh, update records create records and get records okay so first of all now we would be uh, working with a task so what is our task is to create a welcome screen flow so this is our task one so let's get started with this so you want a welcome screen flow so uh, as we are in this screen flow we want a screen okay so when you drag and drop this screen you would get a flow label properties of this so you are to specify the screen properties so you would say welcome screen okay and api name automatically gets populated no need to worry for that so um, coming over to the sections this is your header if you remove it you would see nothing this is your footer okay and in the control navigation when you uh, scroll down you would find uh, that do you want uh, this previous button do you want any pause button or not so for the time being I am removing those buttons and in this flow I would be only displaying a message so for that I would be using a display text so search in here display text okay so this is only to display name welcome message and what would be the data inside that welcome to screen flow task 1 completed okay and in here see what you can do is you can even increase the font size you can increase the font family uh, so you can deal with things as you like you want to show it in the center the color should be uh, green yellow anything that depends upon you so for the time being I am taking this green color so then so I was talking about these connectors this is your connector okay now simple click on the save button and give your flow a label so test I would be giving this test flow demo one okay and then save this flow okay so uh, we save this flow so uh, there are two buttons run and debug so if we debug this flow or let us go with the run item only because this is quite simple for beginner friendly approach we would be following so uh, see test flow demo 1 welcome to screen flow task 1 completed now you finish ok so nothing happens like this in this as record gets saved just if we uh, say uh, but we would be talking uh, uh, in depth about this also so our flow is working so this was our task one so uh, this was your flow that how you could create your flow i hope you understood uh, this flow 
in the next video we would be uh, doing with some more operation on flows till then stay connected and if you are new to this channel do subscribe to the channel